and give, <clears throat> hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. Amen. Let's get Matthew 6 and 1. Take heed that you do not your alms before men. Don't be out in front trying to, hey, I'm about to get this guy this. I'm about to bless this guy right here. Don't do that. To be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. If you do that thing, God ain't going <laughs> to reward you for it. That is all. For we do not do tithing anymore. We are now to give alms to help our people, to lift up our people, to spread the word. So you tell, you may ask the question, hey, so if I'm not supposed to give my 10%, what am I to give? You want to give out of your heart. What God lays on your heart to do, to give. I said, well, am I to uh, still go to church and give to the pastor? I said, well, here's my, my answer to that. If you can't go right back to the same church you gave to and ask for some help with your bills, and they say, well, I'm going to pray for you. You in the wrong church. They ain't abiding by the laws. The law said that the, the church, Israel, is supposed to take care of each other. And that's law. And if the church don't take care of you, they're going against the Bible. And they're going against God. Shalom, Israel, most high in Christ. Bless all praise to the most high. Keep the faith.